show. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Hey, you know what? I'll tell you something. It's it's Monday. It's uh, not so different from most Mondays, except for one kind of big thing, and that big thing is UFOs. Did you see 60 Minutes last night? Uh, I, I know you're laughing. I'm not joking. Did you see? No, you didn't watch. No, it I didn't night. watch that. No. <laughs> Well, the truth is not just out there anymore. It's here. 60 Minutes had a story last night in which they interviewed some very credible former Pentagon and military officials who had video and eyewitness accounts of objects that fly 13,000 miles per hour. They drop 80,000 feet in less than a second. They go underwater. The government calls them unidentified aerial phenomena, UAP, which just like the Cardi B song. And they've known about this for a couple of years, but they waited until now to talk about it, because I guess uh, a couple of years ago, they would have been too embarrassed if the aliens said, take us to your leader. They'd be like, eh, not a great <laughs> idea, but I can't believe so many people didn't see it. I feel like if this story had been on 60 Minutes in like 1988, it would be the only thing we talk about for the next 30 years. It's would have been the biggest news story of the year. Now it's like, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, I heard that. And I also heard Bill Gates was trying to get freaky with one of his employees, right? <laughs> I know. So after watching the story, and you should if you haven't, you almost hope they're visitors from another planet because if China has technology like this, we better learn to, to speak Mandarin like immediately. It's, I have so many questions. I want to know where they come from what kind of engines or fuel propels these things? What information, what is this information they've been trying to find in Hillbilly's butts for all of these years? That's what I wanna know. And poor Mike Pence is missing all of it. This was his shot to suit up in that Space Force bomber jacket and blast off to the Crab Nebula and now he's not, we are. So we're not alone. Oh, by the way, we're really not alone because after 14 months of being on our roof, our band is back in studio. Say hello to Cleto and the Cletones, Cleto Sr., Toshi, Jonathan, Jimmy Earl, Jeff Babco, and Cleto Escobedo, our band, finally back. And I'm gonna say this, there's nothing more rock and roll than being separated by plexiglass dividers. <laughs> you wanna give us a little something since you're back? Let's see, come on, give us something. Yeah. <laughs> A little rusty, but they'll get the magic back. They'll get. Jonathan, you're going to be. I've really been missing the rim shot, so I'm going to need some tonight. Give us, you just one to see what it sounded like. Yeah, that's what I like. All right. That's, you know what? When you have that, you don't even have to be funny. You really don't. This is funny. We learned over the weekend that Joe Biden had a Venmo account. I say had because he had to delete the Venmo account. He apparently used it to send money to his granddaughters. Which, I don't know, it's just weird. It's weird to hear about a politician using Venmo to pay teenagers for something other than sex, isn't it? <laughs> See what I mean? BuzzFeed did a story about how easy it was for them to find Biden's Venmo account, and there are some interesting transactions they found. Joseph Biden paid Shoeless Gus for malarkey, <laughs> uh, paid Huck for fixing the doohickey, Little Bebop, Licorice Whips, Sal's Electronics, Victrola Repair, uh, Higginbotham's Apothecary, One Jar Tooth Power, and one more, I think, uh, paid Angela Merkel, sorry for the weird hug. So, I don't know, who would have guessed it? If somebody said to you, what are the odds Joe Biden has Venmo, you'd be like, oh, there's no way, right? It, but this is like finding out the Pope wears VR goggles. I forgot how scary they are, too. <laughs> this was uh, one notable payment a request Biden did not accept. You know, Trump claimed he's going to build a garden of heroes. He's going to build statues honoring a bunch of famous people. Jared Googled for him. Well, he announced this just before leaving office. And to no one's surprise, it isn't going to happen. President Biden on Friday revoked the executive order to build the garden of heroes. And of course, Republican lawmakers are cranking up the fake outrage machine. QAnon Lauren Boebert of Colorado tweeted, Biden canceled the National Garden of American Heroes because he hates America, <laughs> hates our history, and is okay with cancel culture.
tearing down American statues, right? <laughs> I'm sure she's very upset about this <laughs> and that he hates America intensely. No site was ever selected for this garden. Uh, there were no plans. Uh, nothing was funded by Congress. It's the quintessential Donald Trump project. No plan, no money, no promise kept. There wasn't even a site picked out for the garden. Trump basically conceived it and then ditched it all. It was like Tiffany, really, in a way. <laughs> hey, remember um, the Tiger King, Joe Exotic, who is currently in jail? You know, probably know he requested a pardon from Trump. Trump didn't bite. So now he's hoping to get the new president to bail him out. He took to Twitter to beg for Joe Biden's help. Here's how that conversation, I'm guessing, went at the White House. Mr. President, uh, Joe Exotic is asking you for a pardon. Who's Joe Exotic? The guy from Tiger King. What's Tiger King? A uh, show on Netflix. Who's a Netflix? Okay, so that's a no then. And by the way, you know who really deserves the name Joe Exotic? Uh, this smooth operator right here. Hey, Joe Erotic. <laughs> Speaking of tigers, last week, you know, we were talking about this Bengal tiger that was on the loose in Houston. It is no longer on the loose. The <laughs> wife of, this is weird, of a prominent local mattress salesman, a guy named Mattress Mac, says she had the tiger at a private tennis club she owns. Uh, this tennis club is licensed to have wild animals. I went on their website. They have monkeys at this tennis club. I don't know if they go get the balls or what, but it's a tennis club with monkeys. You better watch out, Florida, because Texas is really making a run. Anyway, the tiger is safe, and he is in the custody of, uh, well, HPD Major Offenders Commander Ron Borza has the tiger. Commander, it's been a long week for looking for this guy. It really has been. <laughs> but we got him, and he's healthy. Okay, now I want a tiger. Now, I mean, <laughs> if the idea was to warn people about how dangerous these animals are, mission not accomplished at all. <laughs> Get me a tiger, will you, Guillermo? Sure. All right, it's time for our big exclusive. We, the 17th season of The Bachelorette starts next month, and for the first time ever, we got an exclusive look at all the men who will be competing for Katie's attention. So many shows wanted this. Uh, Meet the Press, Face the Nation, <laughs> Oprah. Want, they were all desperate to get this. Somehow we got it. We managed to wrest it away from ABC.com, and so with a, a stack of headshots in hand, I gathered my bachelorette crew to go through all the men in this first exclusive look at Katie's harem. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, I can't wait to get into this. I know Whoa. you love this. I feel like it's Christmas Eve. Are you ready to open the packages? Can't wait. All right, we begin with Aaron. Thoughts? Hundreds of teeth, which is what's most important. <laughs> Does have a lot of teeth. Yeah, that's probably good, He's too. cute, though. What does he do? He's an insurance agent. Oh. oh. Yeah. His biggest fears are rats and saber-toothed tigers, it says. One of those is extinct, so <laughs> he will sleep easier tonight. <laughs> Brendan, firefighter trainee from Toronto. Yeah. I think his nighttime ritual probably takes way too long. Yes. <laughs> Christian from Boston. He's a real estate agent. He loves parades. No! Oh. What? <laughs> Who loves parades? It's Nobody so hard to love a parade. It yeah. is. It's not the 1930s. <laughs> Connor B. Yes. Best face of the bunch. Yes. Yeah. Well, guess what? He's a math teacher. Oh, cute. Congratulations. Claims he can eat cereal faster than anyone. No. Oh, what? He's out. That's what do you disgusting. Mean he's out? That's not something to be proud of. No, also, that's a horrible oh, sound. Oh, yeah. That's oh, like the worst sound cereal? you can hear. What about this? Oh, no. no. <laughs> so gross. Oh. That's bad too, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, but right. guys, wait. This is he's he's cute. Yeah. He's going. He's yeah. in the top two. You just struck him down because of I his cereal. I don't want him to eat cereal around us, but his face is great and he's a teacher. Yeah. Cute. Top two. Yeah. Well, this guy with his hair, this is Gabriel. He's an entrepreneur. No. They all no. are. Yeah. Which yeah. is French for unemployed. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> He believes that people should respect elegant styles of the past. Mm. Which means he's either gay or weird. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be both. Yeah, right? He's True. out is what he is. Yeah. Yeah. He'll be the one everyone hates, right? For yeah. sure. Yeah. 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 Garrett is not a fan of tangy foods. <laughs> <laughs> I would not think he was. Bland foods. Who's not a fan of tangy foods? 
I like him. Garrett's the guy who dances at a wedding, your cousin's yeah. wedding. I yeah. like Garrett's him really at fun. work, but I don't want to go to dinner with him. He's eliminated a whole category of food that really doesn't even exist. <laughs> it must be. I wonder him. what it is for him. I, I like him. Know. I don't. Okay. It's time for a dose of denim. Here is Jeff. Uh, uh, uh. No. Jeff is a skin salesman. This is weird. <laughs> That's not true. Jeff cool. actually sells artificial skin, you know, for medical procedures. Jeff needs to There has out. to be another phrase than skin salesman <laughs> yeah. for that. Jeff calls himself an exceptional lover. Oh, that's oh, a little weird. Does. How would you know? He doesn't. A skin specialist of another kind. <laughs> <laughs> this is Justin. He does not like to dance. No. Oh. oh. What? You know I like to dance. Well, I, we're not looking for a date for you. <laughs> well, I'm just judging this through my eyes, and I like it when a guy can dance. Okay. All right. This is Carl. He's a motivational speaker. Oh, that's bad. That's, that's <laughs> so scary, and they always need the motivation the most. Yes, it's like wow. the hairdressers with the worst hair. Yeah. yeah. Yes. His nickname is Sunshine. Um, is it? He, oh, uh oh. He's a proud and loyal believer. Oh. I, I, I am too. <laughs> you know what? Good eyebrows, which is actually my yeah. favorite part of the male face. And he will wow. never ever go bald. Oh. He has he a does great, have really great good eyebrows. eyebrows. Yeah. Masculine. So like got kind of a Pete Sampras, John Krasinski yes, type yes, of yeah. thing going there. Marty is from Reno and he's a dancer. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. Marty what is that brings... necklace and earring? Marty brings the party. <laughs> no, he doesn't. What does no, that mean? That's his. Wait, he says that? Is he a it's stripper? It's his self declared tagline Marty he brings can't. the party. He's very cute, but with the jewelry in that line is no. The way into Marty's heart is? The tightest thermal of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Courtney spelled. Q-U-A-R-T-N-E-Y. Courtney Cox spells her name all wrong. There's an yeah. extra E in there. That's true. That's yeah, but still... it's not a Q. I mean, don't go crazy. Yeah. It's not a Q. <laughs> Here's it. I say he's OK as long as he no longer speaks to his parents. <laughs> his favorite activity is to meet his friends for their brunch and book club. And he loves the harmonica. So this is, be, this this is, is the guy pick. I would pick. Yeah. <laughs> This is my guy. Do you guys know that Jimmy has nine harmonicas in the car? In and the that car? he also has a thing he wears around his neck and he plays a harmonica while he drives. He looks sweet and A fun. thing I wear around my neck? Yeah, whatever, a necklace, a yeah. harmonica. Bob Dylan wears one of those. You don't make fun of him. What's it you? for? It holds the harmonica? It's so I can play the harmonica and while drive? I'm driving the car. <laughs> People laugh when they drive by. <laughs> Andrew S. One of his favorite party tricks is imitating accents from around the globe. Oh, he'll be canceled immediately. <laughs> <laughs> He's very close with his 96-year-old grandmother. Oh. oh. Now we like him again. Oh, I don't like his turtleneck. No, no. 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 Yeah, my 96-year-old grandmother's kind of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this is Brandon. He's an auto parts manager from Queens. Oh, oh my, my God. God. How is this allowed in Queens? No. What happened to Queens? <laughs> this is Cody. He's a zipper sales manager. Excuse me? He's a zipper sales manager. Bye, Cody. <laughs> All right. Connor C., former baseball player. Oh, Connor C. and Matthew McConaughey share birthdays. That's not an accomplishment. Yeah. <laughs> Josh. He has to sleep on the right side of the bed. And he starts celebrating Christmas in October. Mm. No. <laughs> Greg dreams of seeing LeBron James play basketball in person. Oh, wow, if only there was some way to make that dream come true. His name's Hunter. He says he'll never stop believing in romance. <laughs> this you're not going to like at all. I'm going to predict right off the bat. There's no picture of this guy. All there is is a box. And I guess he considers himself to be a gift to the world, to the I Bachelorette. I hope there's a gift receipt. I hope he's four feet tall. I hope he gets out of the box and he's the size of the box. And it's delightful. And he scampers out of the box and we all go crazy. Oh, no. Well, we did it. We went through all of them. We evaluated them. And now I guess only time will tell. Yeah. Yes. And by the way, I just want to say a quick one more toast. And um, thank you all for having your hair done to be here. <laughs> thank you. Don't thank think you. it went unnoticed. You want to hear that noise again? Oh, no. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you want to see all our latest videos, click the subscribe button. And if you don't, click anyway and close your eyes when they come on.